Welcome to the video in which my sexuality ceases to exist. Dun dun dun. I mean, it doesn't really, I was trying to be dramatic, but that didn't work, did it? Hey Spuds, how's it going? It's Jamie, welcome back to another video, your first video, I don't know, but welcome to the channel either way. I'm very glad to have you here and I hope you're gonna enjoy today's video. Today's video is all about erasure. Er erasing, eray raising of the bisexuals. Bisexuality not existing in the eyes of some people. For context, I am a bisexual transgender man. Yeah, I wanted to make a video reacting to some things that were funny about bisexual erasure and then also like genuine bisexual erasure. Just bye bye to the bis, hmm? <laughs> That was terrible, I am so sorry. But before we get into the erasure of the bisexuals, I wanted to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Vessi. I've worked with Vessi before, I love Vessi's shoes, and here we are again. Now I live in the UK, which is renowned for many things. Rain being one of them. Planning a barbecue? Rain. You get married outside? Rain. You go into the beach? rain. Now if you live somewhere where it also rains, maybe not as much as the UK, maybe it snows because you know snow is just cold rain, then you might find a pair of Vessies very handy. Your footsie, because I don't think they really work as well being worn on your hands. I'm so sorry, that was terrible. Now Vessi are amazing. They are 100% waterproof and snowproof, sustainably made everyday trainers that are super easy to clean. And on top of that, they're also super comfy and I think they look pretty great too. Personally, I've been wearing mine recently whilst watering our newly laid lawn because shockingly, we did not have any rain in the UK for over a week and I had to water the lawn every day to make sure it didn't die. And my Vessies came in super handy because with other shoes, my socks and therefore my feet were getting very wet, but Vessi saved me from the soggy socks. So if you want to put a stop to soggy socks for yourself, then you can check out Vessi for yourselves by using the link down below and using the code JAMMYDODGER to get $25 off your shoes. Now back to the bisexual erasure. Ooh, as a bisexual I might disappear. Ooh, I'm really not going to. You can't ship her with another girl. She's been with loads of guys. <laughs> That's a double whammy of a bit of bisexual and pansexual. Erasure depending on this person's sexual orientation. It's a thing, isn't it? TV shows, real life, books everywhere. If somebody has been with a certain gender, there is an assumption that they cannot be with another gender. Oh, you've had relationships with women before. Cannot compute that you would be in a relationship with a man at some point. Now really, why can that not be computed? Is it because you are forgetting that there are sexualities other than gay and straight? <laughs> Happy Pride Month to all members of the LGBTQ plus community. That's lesbians, gays, billionaire corporations, trans folk, queer slash non-binary slash asexual and more. I'm rich. I'm a billionaire corporation. I'm also trans. I'm a trans billionaire corporation. Oh my God. Wow, what a day. I'm curious where this came from. I'm assuming it is a joke. I really am. I don't know what the meaning of the joke is. I would be curious to understand it. Nobody is born lesbian, gay, black, or trans. LGBT is a choice that directly counteracts God's plans for you. God loves you and it hurts you when you disrespect him like that. No, no, it, do it doesn't, it doesn't disrespect anybody. Oh dear. Lesbian, gay, black or trans, really, R really, they don't even know what they're writing about. They don't even know the acronym and they're trying to tell people how to live their lives. Oof. Sometimes people should just say nothing. This is a prime example. Supporting the B in LGBT since we all have problems with homophobia from people with dated mindsets. The, the easy path, the straight ahead. The difficult route is going, accusing the B and LGBT of being a fake gay group to fuel your ceaseless persecution complex and calling them transphobic for not adopting the term pansexual. <gasps> As a trans person, I find it infinitely annoying when bisexuals are called transphobic because I don't understand why. Say you're a bisexual person, you're attracted to men and women, if you then think that you need to identify as pansexual because you find a trans woman attractive, then that is not right, because that trans woman is still a woman and not some other category of person. Also, bisexual is a separate category. This whole like fake gay, like not gay enough, not straight enough, it's because bisexual people are bisexual, they're not half straight, half gay. It is a separate sexual orientation. Maybe let's all just support each other. No results for hashtag bisexual. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> where are all the bisexuals? The term you entered did not bring up any results. You may have mistyped your term or your search setting could be protecting you from some potentially sensitive content. Oh, protect me from the buys. Oh, dear. Ah, the straighties are at it again. Liberty, guns, beer and Trump. That's not just by erasure, that's just erasure. Oh my god. I am beer Trump or Trump beer. I don't know which one sounds worse. They both sound awful. Comment down below which one you are. <laughs> I don't understand why people who are like homophobic and transphobic and don't like the LGBT plus community would try and adopt the acronym and make it something else. Because honestly, I'm seeing LGBT on the back of your car. I don't care what you've written above it. Texas firm petitions court for religious exemption to fire LGBTQ people. And if the court says no, the firm wants to at least be allowed to fire bisexuals. That's fake. That must be. That. I would, I could believe it from the top bit, but the little subheading of like, at least be allowed to fire bisexuals. I don't believe that's real. I don't want to believe any part of it is real. Even if it is a joke, there is truth in it. And just the fact that there's truth in it is just <sighs> miserable. If you're bi under the age of 18, you're bi for the trend. You do not have the mental capacity to decide that. It's funny, as they age, they usually marry a man at the end of the day. Oh, this is specifically against bi women. That's a horrible thing to say. No. And it's also got the hashtag, hashtag lesbians of TikTok, and pride, and a pride flag, and LGBTQ. It's making me sad, because I feel like this has come from someone who's LGBTQ plus themselves, and is saying this to bi people. That's horrible. Also, there's no decision made in sexual orientation. It's not a choice, you don't decide it, it's just who you are. The within community phobias are just big no. Barbie is a lesbian. This is bi erasure. Don't forget about Ken and look at her haircut. Is there a bisexual haircut? But yes, this is the whole thing again from the first meme of like, how can she be dating a woman? She has dated men in the past and is like, d don't just think that someone's sexual orientation flips from straight to gay. They can be bisexual. Sometimes people can date the opposite gender and then realize they're gay later in life or come out later in life and feel comfortable with that and start dating the same gender. But many people will also be bisexual and still be open to dating more than one gender. Lady Gaga, I am bisexual, everyone. Is she though? <gasps> the amount of times that Lady Gaga is just described as an ally. Why? I'm very, very warm right now. Not due to the incorrect labeling of Lady Gaga, it's just hot in this room, but I am annoyed about how many people just refer to Lady Gaga as an ally when she's stated many times that she's not straight. Bisexuals are just confused <gasps> by your ignorance. How cute. I think we need a little bit of positivity in this video. And it got you in the first half, didn't it? Didn't it? Admit it. But yes, the only confusion from bisexuals is why people don't like bisexuals so much. I think the whole belief that bisexuals are confused comes from the fact that so many people don't understand that it is a separate sexual orientation. So many people still think that it's like straight, gay, half, half, or a confusing flipping and flopping between the two and bisexuals just aren't sure which side they're gonna land on without realising that actually bisexuality is its very own individual thing. Dear LGBTQ, you're alive because of two straight people. <sighs> mm -hmm. And we're just gonna ignore the fact that there are many LGBTQ plus parents. There are many gay couples who have children. There are many people who have children and are bisexual, whether they're with the same gender or different gender partner. Stuart Little fact number 58472. Stuart Little is directly responsible for bi erasure in the LGBTQ plus community. A legend. I'm very confused by this one. What did Stuart Little do? Why is he being called a legend for allegedly doing this? That does not deserve legend status. I don't know if he did it, but if he did, that is not a good thing. Does anybody understand this? Please help. Having a crush on Billie Eilish. Straight girls. Lesbians. Where are the bisexuals? And the pansexuals. Where? It's not just straight girls and lesbians. There needs to be a few more arms in that wrestle. Oh, that sounded weird. On that note, that was the last one. 
Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of a Bisexual Reacts to Bi Erasure. The, oh. Da, 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 da. Okay, that was from The Little Mermaid, I believe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. And yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you want to. And I will see you next time. Much love. Bye. I did that in completely the wrong order, but it's okay.